Hello YouTubers. In the next video, we're going to connect STM32 through a virtual USB port to get the data to MySQL database. For that, we need Node.js, MySQL and Visual Studio Code. In this video, we're going to only install these three. For If you already have this one, for MySQL, you go to time 3. If you have this one and this one, you go to Visual Studio Code for time 10. Let's start with this one. We start with uh, Node.js installation. Before we install Node.js, first we make sure whether we have already installed in our system. So in this area, type cmd and uh, click the command prompt. And here you type node node space minus v. Enter. And if you already have, there will be some version number. Also npm space minus v. You will have some version number. I don't have it. That's why it's like this. So I close this one. And I go to a web browser. And in search bar, type node js and enter. Usually the very first one, nodejs.org. Click this one. And uh, download is here. You can use recommended for most user or latest version. Both are good. I, I use this one and it will take very short time. When this one complete, click this one. It's a standard Windows installer. When you get, get this one, click next and accept. Next, next and keep all standard. Next and uh, next install and click yes it took about two minutes i fast forwarded the video we can click finish so it's installed now we check it go to type here again enter the cmd again and command prompt now we type node space minus v and we get the node version. It's 16.13.0, uh, same one. And npm space minus v and we get the npm also installed. And in the next video, we make use of node and npm to make a program. The npm version is here install mysql to install mysql go to web browser and type mysql enter you get the official website click the mysql and select the download tab go below and click the MySQL community download and install for Windows and you can click this one or this one this one we can we need online and no thanks just start download when this one finish click this one Click yes. You can select this one, but it will take more space. To reduce the space, you can go for the custom and click next. And for the MySQL server, expand, expand. Go to the latest version and go to the latest version is this one and drag it and minimize it for the application go to wake bunch expand and also the same one and drag it and the third one is my mysql cell 
expand the same. So we need server and workbench and cell and then we can click next and click execute. If you don't have Visual Studio 2019, you need to install it. I don't have it. So I click agree and install. If you already have it, you don't need to install this. And click close. Click next. Click execute. It took some time to download. I fast forwarded the video. Now we can click next. Click execute. Yeah. It took some time. I fast forward the video. Now we can click next. Click next. We can leave it as default. Click next. And we have the recommended setting. We can click next. And for the password, type a password and remember the password. Click next. Next. Execute. Click finish. And click next. Click finish. Now it's starting the shell and the workbench. Workbench is here. Now all done. We can click close and we can also click close. Whenever you power off the computer and power on the MySQL server, it will auto start. But for the workbench, there's no icon here there's no desktop icon so we can click this in this area and type mysql and we get the workbench here this way we can open it we need to do a bit of setup to connect through the node.js when you get this one we there, there's a local instance here we click this one and put the password and click ok And we get the administration here and the schemas are here when you type this one. We will have the uh, database and table here. There's one database that's for the system. We will create later on database for ourselves. And in this area, we click a new SQL tab. And here we enter this code. We from here until here and I provide this one in the description below or in the website and we go there and we paste it and I need to copy it sorry copy and paste it here now this one should be in one line like this like this and the password you put your password you created put the same password here and then you click this button to execute now it's executed and the next one is this copy and uh, paste it there 
and we can delete this one and we paste it and then execute again now that one also done now we are we can connect through node.js we will do in the next video creating the database and table in here now we install visual studio code to install visual studio code open any browser and in the search bar type visual studio code and click the very first one and uh, click this download for windows it will say take some time about one minute or so after this one finish click this one and it will open the setup it's a normal windows setup procedure and accept the agreement click next click next and uh, don't create start menu folder I just leave it as blank next I create the desktop icon and I click these two and next and install and launch visual studio code we can click finish this is a editor and uh, it has more functionality than notepad when this window come you can close this getting started and we can maximize this is how it look, look like when you click this one you will get all the files here when you open a new files in the next uh, video we do a project using this one we minimize it minimize this one the code is here so install node.js mysql and visual studio code in the next video we create a coding and transfer the data from STM32 board through Node.js to MySQL database. We use the VS Code as the editor. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any question, write down in the comment section below. I try to answer as much as I can. Thank you. Bye.